Good morning, everyone! So today we are opening another BoxyCharm box. Now this is the May BoxyCharm box. Interesting fact, this one, I was watching through the tracking, got stuck at the Canada-US border. Which made me even more curious to see what was in this thing. Because obviously they were searching it. Now, there is absolutely evidence proof that it was searched. Because the seal is broken on it. <laughs> which is making me laugh even harder. So let's take a look and find out what the Canada-US border might have had an issue with. By the way, the wonderful people at the Canada-US border are incredible people. They work hard and they do their jobs right 99.9% .9 of the time. So I'm just curious to see what you guys found of curious note. So let's find out. And the box is beautiful as always. So that is... Describing what products are in here. And oh, <laughs> I see what they were searching. <laughs> What's this? It's two. It is from First Aid Beauty. A coconut skin smooth priming moisturizer. Safe for se sensitive skin. Look at that. So, we'll take a look at that. It says, allergy tested. So we'll be finding out if that is actually gluten-free. A shadow flip multi-chromatic shifting liquid shadow. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. Love how all these names for cosmetics have gotten really long. Can't read the writing. Cruelty free and vegan. Pita approved. Do some more research. Oh, I know this is absolutely gluten free. I love Tarte. They are a great gluten free product. Um, now I'm excited about gluten-free because I have, believe it or not, topical allergies to anything made from wheat, barley, rye, sometimes oats, and spelt. Um, so seeing more and more companies go gluten-free is one of the best things in the world because I have struggled for years to try and wear makeup but end up with the consequences of major rashes, itchiness, hair loss, um, swollen puffy eyes, and in some instances, if I've accidentally ingested it, full-blown allergy reaction with some of the most disgusting reaction in the world. I'm not going to share that on YouTube, but if you private message me, I don't mind giving you advice as to what happened. <laughs> So this is a Shape Tape Glow Wand. I'm looking forward to using that tonight. And Create In's Flawless Stay Hydrating Primer. Oil Free Do Finish. Cruelty Free. That's a nice thing too I found is that more and more companies are guaranteeing their cruelty free. The nice thing about BoxyCharm too is I read nothing but positive feedback that obviously they are doing their research with what products they choose to partnership with. And these are guaranteed to be cruelty-free companies that they're not just saying that they are and it turns out they're not. These are actual that have proven beyond a reasonable doubt that they are indeed cruelty-free. So BoxyCharm has been doing their homework as well. Um, come clean, polis mineral facial scrub. Ooh, this might be nice because I live in a part of Canada where our winters are particularly harsh, dries out the skin real bad. Um, 
So I look forward to having something to refresh my face after a long day outdoors, working outdoors or walking around outdoors or just going to and from work. Perfect. Nothing else in the box. So those are the products I got. I don't need to do research on the tart, which is fantastic because I already know they're a gluten-free company, but I'll be doing additional research on these. If I can't use them, obviously I'm either going to add them to my mine and my fiance's wedding social prizes, or I might donate them to someone who might not be able to afford some of these wonderful brands, but will use them if given to them who need needs it most needs a pick-me-up so i will be back with how to work with these products okay so i'm starting to use some of the products <clears throat> that after a little bit of research found out were indeed gluten-free from my BoxyCharm box. I'm gonna start with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, their Hello Fab line. And it says to take just a, oh, it's not even open. Take a small dab. And that's a really nice color. It's just a sh light, sheer, peachy skin tone color. But it does not appear to show up like that on the skin. It says follow by makeup. So I did not get this from a BoxyCharm box. It is something I've had for a long time. I do use the Tarte Concealer. It is another gluten-free brand. Um, and I don't like to put it over top of my foundation just because I found it doesn't work over top of my foundation. So I apply a little bit to my eyes. Just to hide my dark circles. I have hereditary dark circles which do are in the process of getting worse as I get older. I know who I caught them from. I caught them from my dad. Just blend that in. I do need to slightly hide a small blemish on my chin. So I'm seven months postpartum. I had a baby seven months ago. She is the most adorable little girl you could ever see. That being said, with my hormonal changes, I am breaking out, my skin is breaking out like crazy, but it's still dry because I live in a climate that has extremely harsh cold winters that dry out the skin. So dry skin with acne breaking out on top is not fun, FYI. So some of my videos, you're going to see me some days my skin is perfectly clear, others I am blotched right out with tiny little dots all over. So we're gonna, we fix that. Now this is my normal foundation. I'm still searching for a foundation that is gluten-free and works with my skin, but for now, 
I used the Mary Kay. This was not in the box, just FYI. This is just my normal introductory video so you know what type of products I use. If I am changing products, I will let you know. And just so you know, I just started the Boxy Charm subscription with hopes that I would start getting some products that were matched up perfect for me. Normally, I actually shop at Sephora, um, where there's experts there who are more than happy to start testing stuff on my skin and very carefully listen to my allergies and my concerns about what I need or what I'm looking for. And I've been unable to do that in just over a year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. I am one of those people that is choosing to just stay home. The only reason I go out of home is to take my kids for a walk where there's hardly anybody around, go to work, and to go grocery shopping or drop off groceries for my parents who are getting on in their years and desperately need help shopping. So I signed up for BoxyCharm as kind of a way to discover new products with the hopes that they match my skin. And when all is said and done, I will go back into Sephora and give them all my money. Okay, so I have my base foundation. So I have all my bases covered and I am now going to start using, there's only two more products, which really I can show you right this second. Um, that is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. And I've been reading the instructions online because I had to, I did have to YouTube some wonderful YouTubers in order to understand how to use it. Um, it's meant to highlight and conceal certain parts that you might not like. Uh, most of the YouTubers I took a look at were concealing dark circles under their eyes extra blemishes around their nose, but also highlighting specific parts of their face, like their T-zone, um, the upper cheeks where the, uh, or just below the lower cheeks where the sun might not get it, but you can get that beautiful glow. Reviews were mixed, so we'll see how it works on my skin because we all know that one cosmetic person is gonna say, oh, it doesn't work for my skin. Another's gonna say it works beautifully for my skin. So we'll see. We'll see what it's doing to my skin. So, because I have such issues with circles under my eyes, just dabbing a little bit where I have issues. And then it comes with its own little, cute little, super soft, super squishy um, beauty blender, which should help. I'm gonna blend that in very gently. So as you can see, the lighting here sucks. Okay, remind me to buy a better lighting system for my makeup. So honestly, I'm not seeing a difference on my skin. <clears throat> Try 
probably because my dark circles are pretty dark right now. Getting up every couple of hours in the nighttime to feed a baby. So, um, it does look like my eyes are lit up a little more, but that's probably because the product's still fairly wet and hasn't set yet. So we'll see in a, after. Now I'm going to work on my eyes now. <laughs> Took me actually emailing this specific company to find out if their shadow flip was actually gluten free. Create London shadow flip super nice liquid eyeshadow. I really kind of like the way the color shifts. So in one angle, it looks like a goldy bronze. In another angle, it looks almost tingy green. Another angle, it looks gold. Another angle, it almost, you can see kind of a bluey teal. So it's kind of cool. I actually like this product, the color change. So let's see how it looks on my eyes. Now I'm the weirdo. This is the part where you start to realize that I'm not very good at makeup, but I'm learning. Um, I'm just gonna apply it almost like an eyeliner, I think. No, we're gonna go full lid. Coverage doesn't look too bad. So, I'm not sure how well you can see that. So far it looks really good. Now I add the rest of my makeup. By the way, if you like what you see, don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe. That being said, if you see, I am no expert at makeup. If you've got any tips, tricks, suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. I'll gladly accept any type of help at this point because I am no good at my makeup. Um, I only learned to do my makeup because I chose to become a model in my late 20, early 20s. And that's when I started wearing makeup, so. I am no expert whatsoever. I 
That kind of sucks. All right. So I am using it's a Mary Kay brand. It's a purple eyeliner. You can't see the Mary Kay. I also use it a little bit in my eyebrows because I like to change the color of my eyebrows. So as it's drying and noting, noticing this liquid eyeshadow is not, doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's actually kind of moving and starting to clump up in my creases, which I don't know. And then I use Mirabella Lash Essential for my lashes. I will line my eyes now. So again, now that I'm looking at it, the tart shape tape doesn't seem to be doing what I'd hope it would do. And the Create London Shadow Flip, again, it's there's not a lot of coverage. I'm just applying it over top here, hoping it would a little extra might go a long way. Yeah, no. It's not doing what I was hoping it was doing. So 
So I can coat up the shadow and it doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Well, that is all for now. Um, I will be doing another video. If you stay here, I'll be doing a video of the two facial skincare products that I got that only come for washing this makeup off. So stay around and we'll switch over to that in a second.